Dr. Lou George, Dr. Dennis Miller, Siouxland Oral Surgery. Gentlemen, you ready? Hey, Bill. Yes, how sir, are Bill. you? How are you doing? Let's talk about heroes. There's a big event coming up, and I know this is near and dear to your heart. Well, thank you for the, the, the short time here so that I can speak about this, Bill. Um, I was approached by a, a very good uh, f- a friend of ours, uh, uh, personally and, and business-wise, uh, uh, Tony Erickson uh, over at Heg Realty, um, about uh, a project that's, uh, that's been going on here in Sioux Falls uh, for over 40 years uh, called the Compass Center. And the Compass Center is committed to uh, assisting survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence uh, through a healing process of, of therapy and uh, one-on-one time with uh, psychologists and just helping folks out at a very basic level to advanced level. And um, when he approached me about this event that uh, they, are, they are having on February the 7th of this year, um, I was very, very touched to find out everything that they that they do and that they've accomplished, but I was also very moved that they they asked uh, me to represent our practice of Siouxland Oral Surgery to speak on uh, uh, domestic violence uh, issues um, that w- that we see uh, through uh, communicating with our trauma patients or patients who come in for uh, various consultations, usually for temporomandibular joint pain. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these have their their roots in in some form of domestic violence. So um, we will be uh, uh, participating in this event uh, called Heroes Among Us on February 7th at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. Uh, The doors open there at at 5 o'clock, and um, you can certainly call to get tickets for that. It's at thecompasscenter.org or by calling uh, 605-339-0116. And I think it's a a good chance to get a, a great mix of folks from the community out to hear what the Compass Center is all about and hear how a lot of us uh, unfortunately stumble upon these issues. And it's an it's an ugly issue to discuss, but the more people talk about it and face it, uh, the more powerful we can be against it. How do you face it, as difficult as it is? Well, um, I think I can speak for uh, Dennis and and obviously myself, when, when we see these things in consultations, uh, of course, the, the mood immediately darkens. I mean, anyone can, can have an accident, whether it be a, a motor vehicle accident, uh, a fall, or, I mean, even time, time tempers flare and, and folks trade punches, that's, that's, that's life. But when you see uh, a woman sitting in the chair um, who has been assaulted by her, her spouse or 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 significant other, the mood suddenly takes a quite a spin. And not only is this a uh, tragedy, but there's a lot of anger that's there too when you see this, that most of the time these people are, were quite defenseless. And uh, this was the, uh, the judgment passed to them for no reason whatsoever. So helping these people is very, very important. And, um, and I'm sorry if I'm rambling on a little bit. I, it's no, just, it's uh, very important. No, it's... it's 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 hard to articulate sometimes because it it's 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 such an awful awful situation for these women and these children who are subject to this. So we always try to be um, in an ear, of course. You know, sit and talk, tell us your story from the medical standpoint and the oral surgery standpoint. Whatever uh, Dr. Miller and I have to do to help these folks, we would do it in a heartbeat. That's not a problem, but. Our issue is always, okay, we can take care of this, but what what's next for these people? And uh, the Compass Center really is a fantastic uh, place to at least recommend to folks who are, are, are willing to listen, who have reached the end of their rope, and they're looking for some help. Uh, these folks seem to do fantastic work, and uh, that's why uh, uh, I'm speaking for them on behalf of our practice at their event. When you hear him talk that way, He's quite emotional. He isn't always that emotional, but he was with this topic. Oh, that's our Louis. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is very serious. And it's, it's a serious, serious And it's thing. getting to be more and more of an issue that we face. And I think Dr. George touched on one thing. You see people that come to the office, and it's usually that they haven't been traumatized just the once. It's repetitive. If there's children involved many times, there's also either some kind of abuse of the children or usually neglect of one sort or another. 
Um, and it's it's just tough all the way around because it, it's not only that immediate family that's hurting, but it's also their extended family, and you really want to reach out um, and help them. Um, the list of injuries that you can see are things that are uh, like traumatic injury to the temporal mandibular, mandibular joint, or TMJ. So sometimes it won't surface for many years to come. There's an increased amount of stress, so we see a lot of increased uh, clenching, grinding, bruxism, um, muscle splinting of the facial skeleton, facial trigger point pains, things like that. And then unfortunately, yeah, when it, the injury mechanism is even worse, then uh, you do get the broken bones, the broken noses, the jaws, and things like that as well. Um, and I guess my only advice to people is what we've all probably said when we were kids. If someone beats me up once, that's it. I'm done. And I think from my standpoint, what I see is the repetitive abuse is the worst because the people that are victims of that don't seem to ever see a way out. And there is a way out. There's a lot of different community services and, of course, Compass House um, as well that uh, they can avail themselves um, of to get out of that situation. My guess is, uh, Dr. George, Dr. Uh, Miller, that uh, after you've treated somebody that has been a part of domestic abuse, they are very much pleased that there's somebody that cared enough to listen and to do what it takes to get them back to normal, if there is such a thing. Absolutely. I, I honestly can say that uh, we've seen, kind of received nothing but uh, positive feedback, especially when you try to reach out to people and talk to them in a very one-on-one -on -one setting uh, rather than a, a, a very uh, strict and rigid uh, question and answer session, you know, just let them know that it's okay to talk, you know, and uh, folks out there in the audience and who I work with who know me well know that I have a very, very short wick when it comes to this type of thing. So uh, in terms of, of wanting to be protective, uh, that's that's really where we're at. Uh, you know, the tolerance level is, is absolute zero tolerance for any kind of domestic abuse. And uh, now me recently becoming a father 19 months ago, I look at my little daughter and, um, you know, just to think of some of these horrible things that are happening out there, no way, absolutely not. Okay, so um, if anything, if there's anything, I mean, I can protect my, my own people. Dr. Miller can protect his own people, but we want to help protect other people. And uh, that just fuels me on um, even more to try to become an advocate for this and, and for us to utilize our skills to help these people, you know, get better physically, but also to do the second half of that, which is to make sure they get help. And like Dr. Miller said, w once is too much. That's, that's it. One and done. You know what I mean? Uh, to get out of these situations and get help because there is help. One of the things that I really appreciate is you going on the radio with us, Siouxland Oral Surgery, talking about these topics. And what you have shared today is you're there to help. Uh, Dennis, how do people get started if they're in that kind of a situation and they need the help of you guys? Well, for us, uh, to, for our part, which will be the, uh, the trauma or reconstruction part, the uh, pain part, uh, call us up at 605-335-1080 uh, or uh, visit us on the website, SiouxlandOralSurgery.com. And again, that uh, event for the Compass Center is going to be uh, February the 7th of this year. Um, uh, doors open at 5 p.m. And again, you can uh, get tickets which are available at the Compass Center Dot org or by calling 605-339-0116. And it's the Heroes Among Us event. There's going to be a lot of good speakers. They're much better than me. I can tell you that right now. Uh, and a lot of people with some great stories to share and really motivate the base to get involved with this uh, real ugly topic. Your feel sets the tone for the evening. you got a professional speaking, caring very much, short fuse, short wick, as you said. <laughs> But you're there to help, and Siouxland Oral Surgery does that, and we appreciate having Dr. Lou George, Dr. Dennis Miller with us on It's Your Business. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill.